time for me to scoop leaves. Would you like to help? Sure. I like a clean pond. And so do the fish. Hey there, my name's Jessica Skye and I'm super excited for what we have planned today. But first, let's pause for a second. Can you hear my wind chimes? I love listening to that sound. It always makes me feel so happy and calm. And so many interesting things can happen when we just pay attention to what's happening around us and inside us, like with our breath. Let's try it together. Remember that mat or towel you grabbed earlier? It's time to roll it out on the floor. Feel free to move your pillow if you need to. And it's fine if you don't have a mat or towel, just find a safe, flat surface. Now have a seat and get comfortable. We're gonna take three nice long breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Two more and do it with me. Inhaling. Exhaling. Last one. Deep breath in through your nose. Heavy exhale through your mouth. What are you doing? Still water says if you have an angry feeling inside you, sit still, close your eyes, and take deep, slow breaths. It can make you feel better. <laughs> Great job. Now, breathing is one of those things that we do all the time and sometimes we don't even notice it. But if you're not feeling great on the inside, taking a moment to catch your breath can change that and really help you feel calm. Is it working? Actually, it is. Are you ready to try something new? It's called deep belly breathing and it's one of Stillwater's favorites. I like your big belly. <laughs> Me too. I'd like you to put one hand right here, on the top of your stomach, just below your ribs. And when you breathe in, do it through your nose. And I want you to try and make your belly big and full. It's like a balloon and we're filling it up with air. And when it's full, go ahead and exhale super slowly through your mouth. Let me show you, and then let's do it together. Ready? Do this one with me. Feels good, right? Let's do it a few more times together. Just keep going. Super calming. One more. <laughs> nice job filling up that balloon. Very nice. I think you're a natural. Next, I'd like to ask, what are some of the things you notice when everything's super quiet? There are many different ways to be mindful in the world around you. Let's sit for a moment and just listen. And I find sometimes it helps me focus if I close my eyes. So give it a go. Soften your gaze or completely close your eyes. And just tune in with all those noises around you.
I can hear the water trickling behind me. I can hear the birds chirping in the distance. And the leaves rustling in the wind. What can you hear? Maybe there's a fan blowing air in the background? A car outside? Maybe your family are in the other room and you can hear them. So take a moment, notice if you can hear your own breath. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> now let's use our eyes this time. How do we start? First, start with what you see. The shape of the fruit, the colors. So have a look around. I can see pink flowers. I can see green leaves starting to turn yellow. And I can see a red table. What colours can you find around you in your space? What colour are the walls? Maybe there's an object on a desk or a table. What colour is that? Maybe even look outside your window. Notice what you can see there. There are so many colours in the world. So take a moment, taking them all in. Excellent job using your senses. Now, let's move on to something new. Go ahead and stand up on your mat or towel, just like this. If you've got shoes and socks on, go ahead and take them off now. We're going to give our toes something to do. All set? Let's scrunch our toes up and notice what we feel. I can feel tingles in the tips of my toes. What can you feel beneath your toes? Is it soft? Is anything bunching up between your toes? Maybe you're on wooden floors or tile. Is it cool? Is it warm? Now let's move up from our feet to the rest of our body. Do you feel the air around you? Maybe there's a fan or a heater and you can feel it blowing air onto your skin. Or maybe you're stood near an open window and you can feel the breeze coming in. Did you feel the cold on your back? That's my favorite part. Perhaps the air in your room is still. Try moving your arms slowly around you. I bet you can feel the air now. So just notice how that feels. It's like the air's moving out of your way. Just like ripples in a pond. All right, let's do one more type of breathing. And this is a fun one. It's called bee breath. That does sound like fun. So you know how bees make a buzzing sound? That's where this breathing gets its name from. We're going to buzz together like little bees. So let's take a slow breath in through our nose. And then this time, exhale with the mouth closed and make a humming sound. Let me show you first. Hmm. Let's try it together. Ready? <laughs> Feel how your lips vibrate a little bit and it kind of tickles? You can even put one hand on your belly, like before, and I bet it's getting smaller while you're humming. Let's try one more time. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's good. Now, I love how this makes me feel. It relaxes me and it also energizes me. How does it make you feel? How does your face and tummy and chest feel now? It's always important to notice how you're feeling, both on the inside and the outside. And if you're feeling happy on the inside, that's wonderful. And if you're not, that's okay. But if you take a moment to breathe, it can make you feel a whole lot better. Isn't it interesting how these feelings change when you give them time? Thank you so much for sharing this part of your day with me. See you.